Hi, welcome back. Are you encountering a problem when using the find game object find function and it's not returning data when you know it should? Okay, let's explore what the um, scenario could be and the resolution for it. Here in the scene, I've got uh, a, a rather large data set um, and within that data set, there's some duplicates. So if I remove this wall here, there's another wall, right? So I've written a routine um, in C Sharp to be able to locate the duplicates, tag them, and so they can be cleaned up in the scene, right? So when trying to run the, the routine, and I'm gonna do that now, it will only work in a certain scenario. As you can see, there's quite a lot of data there to actually parse. So because I don't want the scene to be kind of slowed down, come inside here and I hide everything, right? Um, and then I go ahead and I kick off the function. So heading back over to .NET for a second, uh, I've got this mark duplicates routine and a variation of functions to actually go through and drive that process. So we go ahead and we set the breakpoints. It's attached to Unity. And I'm gonna go ahead and kick off the uh, mark duplicates routine I get here I know that I should be able to find duplicates but I can't why well I've just switched off the the visibility on the objects so it's gonna come through here and it's never ever gonna find uh, what it is that I'm looking for right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, move the breakpoints f5 it's completed the routine it's gone through thousands of objects and it hasn't found any duplicates even though I was able to demonstrate beforehand that duplicates are in the scene. So I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm just gonna delete this uh, data set quickly, and then I'm gonna go ahead, switch on the geometry. It'll take its own time to, to update the viewport there. Once it does, what we're gonna do is the exact same routine. We're gonna run through that and see what the effects of just switching the visibility back on. And again, you wanna think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Why would you try to search for something in the scene that's supposed to be active when it's not visible, right? Um, so technically it's quite smart. It's a, it's a good optimization. It's just a case that, yeah, you probably wanna leave the visibility on on the function. So you just wait for it to, to catch up with us. I only take a couple more seconds or so. And then we'll go ahead and, and step through the routine. And the routine itself is really quite straightforward. It's just a case of actually looping through the transforms um, and identify uh, where there are children, and then go ahead and mark the children with the relevant keep or remove tag. We'll just wait for this to update. Once it's actually put everything back in the seed, then we'll go ahead and continue. Right, so we have the, the scene visibility uh, back on now, and I'm just gonna, again, make sure I move the, uh, the geometry in a way that we can actually see it, and then highlight the actual names. So it's the exact same name, right, uh, for the actual object. So click there, click there, notice that the name didn't change, right? So now we're gonna go, and we're gonna kick off this routine again, and all we're doing in this instance is just using the find object to actually search for another object in the scene that has the same name, right? So we'll go ahead and we're gonna say mark duplicates. And if you notice straight away, it went into the routine, right? So it did a find object, it, it wasn't null, and then it's in here. And if I just press F5, it's just gonna keep on doing that now. So I'm just gonna move the breakpoint and have it run through. So literally thousands of objects have now been updated as I would have expected. Um, and if I go back to the scene, it's got keep on that one and it's got remove on that one. So I can then go ahead and simply uh, do a actual remove because it's been tagged accordingly. Um, so it should be able to actually just filter out what it needs to do now quite readily so remove duplicates boom 
right? And now the, the scene's been optimized and I can go ahead and continue processing. So the, the moral of the story is when working in Unity, if you want to use a fine object, make sure that the actual game object itself is enabled, right? Um, and then the function will return what you're after and you can carry on doing what you're doing with the APIs. Ready? That's it for now. If this, you found this video helpful, please go ahead and leave us a like. And uh, uh, please hit the subscribe button because we'll be putting out more of these videos with kind of back office 3D type content. All right. Thanks for watching.